Good morning. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. I know it's super early, but I am back on my regular schedule. The kids are back in school. So of course I got work to do. So I'm about to get into this video. And for those of y'all that are getting ready for work, of course y'all can always play catch up because it will be available on YouTube as well by lunchtime. That's why I'm going on so early so that I can make sure that I have all my stuff out and about. So on your lunch break, you can come here and see me. And those of y'all that know me, you know normally for the summertime, I always take off so that I can be with my kids during the summer. But they back at school, so that means guess what? I'm back at work. I'm back at the toy trap. All right, so let's talk about these boring bedrooms. Last night, I actually had the pleasure of doing a Zoom call. Um, and one of the things that was um, the concern was in the beginning, it was so much fun and excitement and spice, and it was so much foreplay. But now that they have gotten comfortable with each other, it's kind of like, it's nothing to even look forward to. So we're going to talk about them boring bedrooms. And let me say this too, because the same way women put in work in the beginning, because they trying to get this man and, you know, they want it to be about them and all this. Men do that too. She specifically said, I noticed that there is a decrease in oral sex on his end, but he still expected me to have a lot of oral sex. In other words, he still expected me to perform, but at the same time, he ain't going down. Men, especially my men on my, my YouTube, eat more pussy. Eat more pussy. You can't ever eat too much pussy. We love it. We love it. It is, it's almost like a, a meal. You know, you got your foreplay. And then you got the actual act of sex itself. And then you have the aftercare. That is when you laying up and cuddling. If you're making sure that all three of those things are happening, each and every time you have sex, unless there's some type of quickie going on, you will be okay. Okay? You will be okay. If you making sure a foreplay is happening, you eating pussy, and, and you getting her body warmed up, and all of this kind of stuff. Because see, a lot of times, the way our body set up, I done told y'all, we like cars in the wintertime. You got to get in that car. You got to warm that car up. But once that car get warm, it's ready to go. That's how our bodies operate. So that means that you got to put in the work to warm us up. So if you do all three, which is foreplay, the actual act of sex itself, and then aftercare. Aftercare is when you laid up and y'all cuddling with each other, y'all talking and you're falling asleep in each other's arms and you're sleeping in the wet spot and all that. That's the aftercare, okay? If you make a show all three are done, you're going to be all right, Okay. So let's talk about these boring bedrooms. Sometimes y'all acting like y'all don't know how to open up your mouth and talk to these people and tell them what it is that you need or what it is that you want. Man came in yesterday and he said, my wife will not ask me for sex. He was like, she is real traditional, real old school. She will not come to me for sex. If I don't come to her, it don't happen. Wives and husbands want to be desired too. Girlfriends, your boyfriend want to be desired too, okay? With that being said, if you feel like you can't open up your mouth and say the words, you need to get you some lit cards. Like I just said, a, a lot of foreplay, this one is lick me. Lick me, yeah. In the inside, please. Get you some lit stuff like this to be able to give to them and say, come on, baby. This, this stuff ain't number like $10. And then they got all kind of lubricants and taste good oils and stuff. A lot of times y'all think that this stuff costs a lot of money and it don't. It does not cost a lot of money to keep your bedroom spicy. It does not. It, it takes more effort than anything. This one here, let's make magic together. This this for my old school, my my, see, my seasoned people, my seniors who, you know, this lick me may be a little bit too forward, but you want to get the point across, but not want to just like throw it out there. Let's make magic together. Oh, yeah. Let's make magic together. And then, of course, it got all little lubricants and stuff in there, too. Okay? But let's get into what I really want to talk about, which is the Sex Adventure Kit. These are brand new. Just came out. And a lot of y'all may already have some of this stuff. But for my people who like grab-and-go stuff, 
This is definitely a grab and go type of item. It's gonna come with your blindfold. It's gonna come with your tickler. That's your feather. It's gonna come with furry handcuffs, a vibrating cock ring, and a bullet. Yeah, this is kind of like a, um, this bullet is kind of long, but it's wireless. What I really like about this is the suggestion cards. I'm gonna go through a few of them because again, sometimes people really get in the bedroom and they don't know what to do. They really don't know what to do. So everything that these suggestion cards suggest, you have it in your kit, okay? Use the handcuffs to secure your partner face down on the bed, then have sex with them doggy style. So it gives you the position and everything. Use the bullet vibrator to tease one of your partner's nipples while stimulating the other nipple with the feather. Then switch nipples. So I'm, I'm letting you know that it's giving you different suggestive things to be able to do because sometimes people buy all of this stuff and then they don't even know how to use it. Or they may use one thing and scared to use the other. They may get this and be like, what this feather for? Like this feather ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, but baby, this feather will make all of the hair stand up on your body if you use it right. If you ever took this, this feather and you blew on some nuts and then you swiped across it with a feather, baby, you ain't said, baby. Huh. You just don't know what to do with it. So again, these suggestion cards help you. Blindfold. Blindfolds don't do nothing but intensify the um your, your senses, the, the senses that you're using. In other words, when you take away one sense, it intensifies all the other senses. So blindfolds come in handy. If you ever bought anything from the fetish line, a blindfold should have been included. And some people like to do what I call blindfold sex, where both people are wearing blindfolds. So the thing is, you have to think outside the box. You have to come into the bedroom with something different because when you didn't been in a relationship for a long period of time, it's bound to start to get stale every now and then. So you got to do some things sometimes to kind of revive it and, and just bring that little oomph back to it. It ain't that you're in a bad place. It's just that people get busy with life. It happens. But bring that little oomph back. Now, this kit has already been added to the website. There are $29.99. Um, if you checked your email this morning, then the link was already sent directly to you. Okay? It is Friday. I am here at the store at the Toy Trap. I am working today. So if you want to come and see me on your lunch break, feel free because I will be here. Okay, if you come later in the evening, you won't see me. You will see Amber, okay? But I will be here working for the lunch shift. I hope you all enjoy your Friday. It is Friday the 13th, all right? It's, it's freaking Friday, come on. It's Friday the 13th. You all enjoy your Friday. You all be blessed. You all stay safe, wear your mask, and come see me here at the PPG store. We are open every day but Sunday. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Okay? You all be blessed.